A few years ago, I was lucky enough to help out with some puppet fabrication for Hazani Walker's stop-motion short film, The Christmas Visitor, which won Best Horror at the Krampus Snatch Film Festival in 2020. It draws inspiration from the nostalgic Rankin and Bass specials. The Christmas Visitor is a horror film about a nightmarish creature stalking a naughty child on Christmas Eve. I like watching a film that just really um, pulls you in and just kind of like gets your emotions stirring. And horror is one that, that um, I mean, can really, it can mess with you, it can stay with you, it can actually get you on different levels. So it's, um, and also it's just like, it relates to so many other things. Like there could be like a sadness in horror. There's a comedy with horror. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a genre that just kind of goes into all sorts of aspects. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to make hip blocks. First, start by cutting your KNS square brass tubing to fit the profile of the character design. I have secured the brass tubing in a vise locked down to the table with clamps. Now I am setting the piece up for soldering, starting with the 440 nuts. I've drilled an access hole in the KNS that sits behind the nuts where the screws will hold tension to the wire plug-ins. I'm using a pick to apply a small ball of solder to the nuts. The piece needs about two applications of solder to create a strong bond. You solder the nuts to all the KNS pieces and then it is time to assemble them. Take your time getting the pieces in their proper positions and then clamp down with helping hands. Add flux to all the sides and then begin heating it up with the torch. I'm using the feed soldering method now, where you take one long piece of solder and feed it into the flame. I flip over the piece to apply solder to the back seams. This is a good time to mention that the torch uses a combination of propane and oxygen. To create the flame, you twist the propane dial up to release the gas and light a flame with a lighter or flint. Then you dial up the oxygen to create a hotter and more directed flame. You'll know when it's working when you observe a sharp blue cone in the center of the flame. I've combined the pieces on the X and Y axis, and now it's time to attach the butt rig point on the Z axis. I have found that this is one of the most used rig points. Rig points allow for characters to have rigs attached to them so they can be suspended in air during animation. I'm putting stay sealed flux on the piece to help heat the metal up to the brazing temperature of 600 degrees Celsius, which will allow the solder to join the bits together. I have set it on fire bricks, which are flame resistant. I'm heating the metal up and watching for the flux to become glassy, which indicates when you're ready to add the silver solder. These are the finished body blocks. The boy character was so small, I had to use low-profile grub screws for tensioning in the wire plug-ins. You can see Santa's body blocks in the right-hand corner, which is much more beefy than the boy's. 
That's all for now, but stay tuned for next week when I interview Hazani Walker, the director of the short film.